We're doing traditional lion dance, which we do every Chinese New Year for public schools, businesses, senior homes. Traditional lion dance is part of martial arts. We go around and we bring good luck to whoever we perform for. They think, oh, Chinese dragon dance, they come out, but they don't really know the true meaning of the whole thing. And my part is I want to share this part of culture. Lion dancing has always been in my blood ever since I was a little kid, and I love sharing this part of my culture. I'm 61 years old right now. I think I'm like the oldest active performing lion dancer, at least in the US. The lion is, even though it's made out of paper mache, we treat it as a living character. What happens is the evil spirits, they're attracted to the music. It's disturbing their rest. And so they come out to investigate and then they meet the lion and the lion has a mirror on his forehead and once the evil spirits see themselves, it scares himself away. The Chinese lion is a vegetarian. He doesn't eat meat like the lions we know of in the zoo. He, he likes to eat lettuce. He likes to spread his luck and he tosses out the lettuce. And anybody that gets hit by the lettuce brings them good luck for the rest of the Chinese New Year. Since the lion can't speak, he wants to voice his good luck. So he drops good luck banners. On the banners, they'll say, Happy Chinese New Year. When I see the smile on the face, that's good enough for me. I know I did my job as to entertain them, you know, and hopefully they learn something from it. I just love doing it.